you said bell peppers and beef. His name's Asimov Solenson. Are you listening to me? There's no beef in here. So you wouldn't really call it bell peppers and beef now, would you? Yes, I would. Well, it's not! It is when you're broke. person recently asked me hey what's some good retrieves for glide bait so today I'm gonna to be showing you guys some retrieves I'm in Phoenix's backyard it's beautiful I've got a pool here and we're gonna get some sick underwater shots for you guys so stay tuned uh, just please excuse the dog that's being really annoying with my craft I'm really trying to do this for you guys so like I said, I'm starting with the Depths 250. I've got it on an LDC extra heavy rod. It's one of their production rods. And I've got just a Shimano Cardiff. Now the Cardiff is a slower gear ratio reel. I know some guys only will have a Cardiff, but I know with a lot of these glide baits, people will tell you a faster gear ratio reel will be better. But you can work the bait just as fine with the slower reel. So I'm just gonna throw out my bait. So there's there's a few different retrieves that you can do with these baits. The first one I'm going to do is just a slow steady retrieve. Nothing much to it, but just a slow steady retrieve. And the bait will kind of just do this, real slight S motion. And that is a great way just to, you know, get a feel for the bait, see what it can do. And I'll do this retrieve when I'm really working the bait slow and the fish aren't really liking the glide motion of the bait so much. And with the Depth 250, it has a real slalom kind of swim to it. And a lot of times when I'm fishing it like this, if I make a far cast and I'm working it just real slow, I'll give it a couple pops and then go right back into that slow slalom retrieve. Now the second retrieve that you can do with this bait, throw it out, let it sink to the desired depth, and just do just simple glide, 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 glide glide, glide, glide. And it's just simple, you just glide the bait back to the boat or the shore, whichever one you prefer. And then the third way, it's a little more difficult, but you kind of get into rhythm with it. You throw it out there, you let it sink to the desired depth, and you give it a glide, 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 and then you give it a pause, glide, 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 glide. And it's just really simple. And then you can start illustrating other things. Now, the way I describe, describe it as is like working a jerk bait. It's real erratic. So with a jerk bait, you give it like one, two, one, two, three. And it's kind of the same way I do with the glide bait. But instead of jerking it, I'm gliding it. And I'm giving it pauses. And a lot of my bites when I'm throwing glide baits comes on a pause and I'm about to glide it again. So just a straight glide glide, 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 and I might do a pause and then just do like a glide, and then glide, 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 and then pause it again, or do like a glide, glide, glide. So you can switch it up, whichever one looks good on your bait, whichever one you feel confidence in, and of course, how the fish react to the bait being worked like that. And now I'm, I'm going to throw the Hinkle Trout, just to show you guys that not every single bait glides the same, and once you find a glide bait that you like, and you get another glide bait, that doesn't swim like the one that you like, don't be mad at the bait, don't sell it, give it a shot, and I know it's gonna be different, but it can also get bit because it's something different that the fish may or may not have seen. A lot, like a big example is people that have the Depth 250, they'll buy uh, HPH, one of the Shad Glide baits. It does not swim nowhere near like a Depth 250, so people will sell the bait and they will absolutely hate the swim of it. Me personally, understanding that it's not a Depth 250, the swim on it is just fine. It's absolutely just fine and it gets bit. It's just people don't think, people want it to swim like a Depth 250 and it doesn't just do that. It's a completely different style of hinge and bait. So don't be mad if your Depth 250 swims awesome and then you get a different bait and it doesn't swim like a 250. Now with this, I retrieve it just like I do with the Depth 250. 
because this hinge design does allow me to fish it exactly the way I do with a depth 250. It's just not, it's a different kind of reaction. This bait glides a lot further side to side than the depth 250. <laughs> Give it your baits, chances, start kind of going into your pools or your local spot and just trying out the baits and how they swim. Like I said, every glide bait may swim completely different from something that you think is better than the other. Each glide bait is designed perfectly well for the bait itself. So give it a shot. Hopefully you guys catch more fish on glide baits this way. So stay tuned for more videos from myself and Phoenix, of course. And as always, chase your dreams. Big yeah. shout out to the filmographer for this video. The director also. The director, the script writer, and and the I, man behind everything. I planned all this out, you guys. Filmed all of it. You know. All credit is to him. The, the baits were made by him. Oh yeah, this is the uh, the Pickner. The Pickner Hinkle. The Pickner Trout. <laughs>